Hey yo, your friend the neighborhood quarter guy here, and god my beard is itchy right now. I guess that's what Movember does to you. But I guess the most painful thing is going to be shaving it off once December comes. Anyways, it's over. Done. Nintendo has pretty much, well, no, not pretty much, they have outright confirmed that they are ending Wii U production. I guess it was to be expected with the Wii U being such a sales flop, despite having a lot of good titles for it. And uh, with the Switch coming in March, I guess it doesn't really make m much business sense to continue producing new Wii U games. I mean, the last exclusive... That means the last exclusive title... Nintendo exclusive title for the Wii U is uh, Paper Mario Color Splash. But I, but I guess it's time to look ahead. But not without looking back first, I mean... Granted, I'm going to admit, the Wii U was marketed poorly... Had a confusing name. In fact, that was one. Of, that was one of the reasons why it didn't sell so well, and a lack of third-party support, possibly due to the hardware specs. But that being said, I did have a lot of fun with it. There were a lot of fun titles to play for it. A lot of which, pretty much, well, most of which were made by Nintendo. And well, I think I might do top 10 Wii U games for December once I release my latest list, which is top 10 things I like in video games. I've got the rough draft for it done. I'm just, it's just waiting proofreading. But I am going to miss the games for the Wii U. Well, at least I'll have a reason to keep my Wii U since the Switch isn't going to be backward compatible. But... I guess it's I guess it's kind of like the Dreamcast, it's like lots of fun titles, but sales bomb. That's a real shame. Um, next thing I want to talk about is uh, recently the uh, producer of Tekken, Katsuhiro Harada, recently said that he ideally would like to make a Samurai Showdown game. Now I do like the idea in theory, but Given given Tekken, it would be tough to pull off given in a Tekken setting. I mean, SNK tried to tried to do a 3D Samurai Showdown. Well, and on a few occasions exactly. And uh, the most recent one we got was Samurai Showdown Sen. But given Harada's track record, he could be able to pull it off, just as long as it's kept you know 2D. I mean. Some franchises were meant to remain in 2D. Samurai Shodan was probably one of them. And last piece of news I want to talk about. Uh, recently, it was revealed that the next season of Street Fighter V DLC will start with a fan-favorite character whose absence from the game initially was, rather pu was possibly puzzling to quite a few players of the game. That character is, of course, Akuma. He was teased in a trailer at a Capcom event, and he'll be first shown off in the game at the PlayStation Experience in December. I, for one, am excited for the return of Akuma. I mean, and it makes me wonder what other characters will show up in the second wave of DLC. I mean, we could have Sakura, we could have Q, we could have Necro, or other Street Fighter 3 characters. Possibly Elena or Dudley. That would be pretty neat. <sighs> now for updates. Like I said, Rough Draft is done for Top 10 Things I Like in Video Games. That's awaiting proofreading, and ho hopefully if I'm lucky, I'll be able to get it out by Thanksgiving. The next order of business, the Extra Life Game Day. Again, thank you to all of you who saw my stream and all of you who donated. The grand total at the end of the game day, $1,085, and it's all thanks to you. And I'm not going to stop streaming anytime soon. In fact, once I set up my next stream date, I'm going to s I'm probably going to play a fight gate, a fight cade mystery box game. Look forward to that, and uh, be sure to check my Twitter for updates on that. And for my question of the week, specifically for anyone who's owned a Wii U, what was your favorite game on the Wii U? 
As always, leave your answers in the comments. Favorite answers will be featured in the next episode. Here are last week's winners. And with that, time for the fourth wall mailbag. As always, if you want to send me a question through your web browser, go to my channel, click the About tab, click the Send Message button. Favorite questions will be answered in the next episode. First question this week comes from Alan Wright, who asks, Would you like to see a Mega Man game that takes place during the Elf Wars? As a matter of fact, yes, I would. I mean, we got some... We got some in-universe explanation of this event during the events of Mega Man Zero Three, but... I'd like to see a game that expands upon it a bit more. I mean, how did X and Zero first fight Dr. Violent Omega? I mean, how did the events of the Elf Wars unfold? That would be quite a game for playing, and I would definitely play it. it Something sounds like a lot of fun, as long as they don't, as long as Capcom doesn't screw it up. That is assuming Capcom ever makes another Mega Man game. Next question comes from Thundersa, who asks, Are you considering going to Momocon this year? I would love to go to Momocon, to be honest. I mean, a lot of my friends are planning to go there. There's, you know, the almighty sauce! <laughs> and, uh, a lot of other things to be interested in at Momocon. The problem is going to be affording it. I mean... Granted, I do have a full-time job, aside from my YouTube channel. And... I still, I still have bills to pay and stuff to save up for. But if I had the money, I would definitely consider going. The sauce! Next question comes from Video Game Zero One's channel. He asks, Who would win in a fight? Hard Aino or Athena Asamiya? That would be a tough one, but I would give the edge to Heart. Mainly because... Probably because her arcana is... Well, she has her own skills and she has her arcana, which is a bit more versatile than Athena's moveset, to be honest. Not Nothing against Athena, but I think Hart has the edge here. Next question comes from Jonathan Kimmel, who asks, Do you accept fan-donated games? Well... I accept fan-donated games through Steam right now, so if you're a friend of mine on Steam and you have a game you'd like to uh, gift me, I'm perfectly fine with that. The problem with physical games is that, well... I'm not comfortable giving out my home address online, unless to people I actually trust. So, if I were to want to accept fan-donated games physical copies, I would have to get a P.O. Box first. But if I do that, I'll be sure to post it. Last question comes from James Richardson, the third, who asks, What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? African or European? Mm.